Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be a skincare related video, my skincare routine and I also thought in this video I would include body care, foot care, hand care and face care as well because that's obviously also very important because it's still all your skin. I'm first of all going to talk about feet. This video is actually in collaboration with an Amazon seller and I'll leave the seller's name on the screen now because I can't remember it right now and I don't know if I'll be able to pronounce it right but I'll leave it on the screen right now and also I will link down this product that I'm using in the description and it, you literally just buy it straight off Amazon if you'd like it. Apparently this is a callus remover and it says nail care so it is an electric rechargeable foot pamperer effectively. I think you'll get the gist of what it is when I actually get it out of the box but they sent this to me for free to do a review on but it comes with some instructions which is obviously good because you know I do always need instructions um, so yeah here's the instructions and that's what the product itself should look like when you actually set it up but basically it's electric and it starts rolling can you see that and then you like put it on your feet and it's very abrasive so it will actually like remove any dead skin it's not too harsh actually that's really nice i like that it's not too harsh which means that you can use it gently on your skin and it just gently removes you know your skin you're not going to be bleeding or anything like that it does remove dry skin i do get a little bit of dry skin kind of here on my hands and i do get really 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 hard heels on my feet i'm not i don't really walk like i do walk a fair bit but i wouldn't say i'm standing up that much but i do tend to get really hard heels for some reason so this will be amazing so yeah basically all you need to do is you get the product out of the box it looks like this there is other stuff in here and you charge it up using this little guy here so this is just a little charger and you literally just plug it in yeah one end plugs into the bottom like this and then this bit will just plug into an average plug effectively that everybody has so it's just the usual one that everyone tends to have lying around in their house and that will charge it up this is already charged up because i've already charged it up for use and for the video so like i said you do just press this and you i actually personally think you can use this on your hands as well because again like i get dry skin you need to press it kind of hard and then you just kind of rub it gently and that's nice i can actually see dust coming off i don't know is that dead skin i don't know it's kind of weird but yeah i'll stop there before i get carried away um but yeah really really good and the good thing about this is it does actually come with an interchangeable head okay so this on here is called the rough grinding head so this is kind of a more rough skin and then they also give you another head in here which is a fine grinding head so i'm trying to get it out of the packaging um so you can swap that on for a little bit more of a finer finish so for example if your skin is not that that dry you can use this one and then they have a buffer which is this one i'm just going to read it in the instructions to tell you exactly what it is buffing roller and shining roller so i take it you put this on that end and it will just kind of buff at your skin after you've used this so you can use this for rough skin you then put the other one on the fine grinding roller on to kind of smooth it off a little bit and then you use this oh my god this buffer to make your skin really really smooth it also comes with a little brush here so you can just brush away any you know dead skin or anything like that but this is perfect i do personally think that you should be looking after your feet as well because you're walking on them every single day so if you want to go and check out this product and give it a good use especially if you like to look after your feet as well then i will link this product down in the description for you to go and check out please so thanks to them for sending me this and like i said it's an amazon seller so you'll you know be able to buy this very very easily and very trustworthy next up we have body care i'm going to do body care next now i do have a body scrub here which i was sent in the past and this is the body blends sugar glow sweet caramel scented body scrub it looks like this and in the inside there's still an awful lot of product in here as you can see that's what it looks on the inside it is a coffee scrub it smells amazing like literally smells pure coffee 
when you put this on your skin i kind of scrub it into my arms and like my shoulder area and sometimes on my legs it basically acts as an abrasive so it will get rid of any dead skin but it also smells so nice so if you're a coffee lover you will really really like this but yeah i did do a video for this brand ages and ages ago i'll link it down below if you want to go and watch it and check it out and just see how you can buy this product but i do use this still and you know there's so much product in there also occasionally and i do mean occasionally because i am quite bad at body care i do use this zoella body lotion this is the snow silky one it's just a very simple casual body lotion and i do just sometimes use this on my arms and my legs just if i'm feeling like it or if i have time and then occasionally i use this which is the saint tropez gradual tan it's tinted obviously because it's a tan and this is what i like to use whenever i feel like kind of tanning my arms my legs anything like that it does work really really well if you layer it on you know if you put it on one day and then you put it on the next day it layers up really really well and you can see great results with it so i do really like that and it works well and i've had it for ages i don't tan that often though can i stress okay that's it for literally body care i don't you know mess around too much then for hand care i just use one product for my hand and this is the Zoella Winter Wonder Hand, and this is a hand cream. This is just an average hand cream. I wouldn't say, you know, it's anything special. It's just a normal hand cream. I literally have so much of this in, you know, the bottle, and I've used this absolute tons. I literally, I use this all the time, every single day. So I don't know why it lasts me so long, but I suppose it is quite a big bottle. Now for facial skincare. This is when it gets a little bit feisty. I don't know why I meant feisty, but it gets a little bit tasty because there is a lot of products here so i'm going to start off with morning skincare because there's less of that when i wake up in the morning the first thing that i do is i apply this elemis pro collagen cleansing balm it looks like this and it is fairly expensive for what it is it's only a small little pot but i've literally used this to the absolute bottom i really do quite like this it's a balmy consistency so when you put it on your face obviously in the morning i don't have any makeup on um it just kind of sinks into the skin and leaves it feeling quite oily this is a product that is a cleanser so you will have to wash it off otherwise your skin will be an absolute oil ball throughout the whole day so yeah but i really like the fact that this makes my skin really soft then after i've washed my face before i do my makeup i will go in with a product from the ordinary and this is the 100 percent plant derived squalene hopefully i pronounced that right and it's for surface hydration so i like to just pop a little bit of this on my skin it's got a little pipette here as you can probably see and basically you just prepare a little bit of this on kind of a couple of drops onto your face and it just gives that extra bit of kind of hydration to your skin and just makes your skin a little bit more soft for makeup application you will love this if you have dry skin and i would recommend it the ordinary skincare is amazingly priced and fairly fairly cheap then i will go in with a final product in the morning and this is the aloe vera gel and this is actually from poundland so this only costed me a pound but it's like i use it as if it's a moisturizer and it basically is a moisturizer but it just looks more like a gel i love this in the morning i put this in my august favorites because it's incredibly tacky so when you put it on you can feel it on your skin and it's perfect for makeup application it has glycerin in it which is amazing as a primer so this is just great for makeup and i would recommend this because it's only a pound so that is it for my morning skincare literally like to keep it very very simple my everyday night skincare i don't always do this every single day sometimes i get a bit lazy and i just remove my makeup and that's it but this is if i'm not lazy and i am trying so these are the products that i will try and use every single day so every night i start off by removing my makeup and washing my face with this Garnier Skin Active Purifying Botanical Gel Wash. This is an absolute godsend. This is amazing. Literally removes all, like it would literally just remove my full face of makeup like this and nothing would be there. It cleanses and it removes makeup in one and I absolutely love it. This is meant for people with oily skin, which or combination to oily, which is exactly, you know, my skin type. So this is perfect for me, but they do also do, I think it's an orange bottle or something like that, 
for dry skin so go and give them a try but i just love the fact that it's so easy to remove your makeup as well and it gets off mascara and things like that very very easily so yeah this is a great one to use then i like to go in with a toner i use this one again this is the garnier skin active purifying botanical toner and this is a great toner for kind of reducing redness and just evening out your skin tone it's also really great for kind of reducing spots and things like that because it is meant for oily skin and people with oily skin tend to be more susceptible to spots so i like to go in with this and i just use kind of a little cotton pad and then after that I go in with another product from The Ordinary and this is the Ordinary Alpha Lipoic Acid and that's what it looks like. Again it's got a little pipette and it looks kind of cloudy and that's because I've had it quite a while so when it gets to this stage it's probably best to buy a new one. I am going to continue to use it because you know that's what I do but I think it's, it's a little bit dirty so it usually is Quite clean this literally gives so much hydration to the skin it makes my skin feel so plump every time I use this I wake up in the morning and my skin feels ready for makeup you know when you just skin is very soft and plump and you just you know putting makeup on feels amazing so that is what this does and I would recommend this then I go in with a moisturizer and I actually use this Zoella body butter so this is technically meant for your body but I actually like to use it on my face and the reason why I use it on my face is because it's so so thick and I like to use a thick moisturizer on my face at night because then when I wake up in the morning my skin is so so soft wouldn't recommend using a thick moisturizer in the daytime but at night it's perfect so I do quite like this and then finally, I know this seems very, very long, but it, it doesn't take that long. Um, I have this anti-aging collagen filler. I did actually get this from Poundland and I think the brand in Poundland is called Hashtag Six. So this was only a pound. This contains hyaluronic acid, which is amazing for the skin. And I like to use this as a serum. It's like a little pipette. I just use a tiny bit of this and I literally just put it underneath my eyes, on my chin, on my nose. I kind of like to put it in areas where I might potentially get a bit dry and also areas where you want to prevent kind of, you know, wrinkling anything like that in the future. So, you know, this is just a little bonus product. And then finally for my lips, I will go in with this Vaseline. It it's a rose and almond oil vaseline so it's just kind of a pinky color it is a bit tinted my lips don't tend to get dry but you know on the odd occasion they will do so it's good to just use this anyway just to kind of prevent that so that's kind of my everyday skincare there are other products that i do use as well occasionally so i will mention those and talk about those now but i won't kind of do overlay clips showing them i don't think or i might you know do for a few of them i have a few extra cleansers this one here is the eliza neutrals cleanser i was sent this product and i will link down the video down below if you want to go and see my review on this i did find it to be quite a soapy kind of feel and it did you know feel quite drying on my skin but if i use this once a week it's absolutely fine it's really cool because the actual product is like paper but as soon as you add water it foams up into a cleanser which i love um so i only use this once a week you know it's not the best but it's okay i also have this garnier skin active pure intense three-in-one charcoal kind of facial wash this is a face wash a face a face oh my god i can't say it. a face wash a scrub and a mask all in one i pop this on my skin once a week i did it last night i kind of scrub it in i then leave it on for a few minutes and wash it off and it feels so refreshing so this was good for oily skin and obviously most of these products are for oily skin but it's for oily and spot prone skin so give it a try if you would like to I have a face scrub that I do use occasionally and this is the snow polished one that Zoella came out with and this is kind of meant for your body but I do use it um, on my face. It is a good one but then it dissolves very very quickly. I think it's got sugar in it and as soon as the sugar comes into contact with water it just disappears so it isn't the greatest but I'll use it until this runs out. I have a few face masks. The first one is this Quick Fix Facials Anti Blemish Mud Mask, and this is kind of like a kind of muddy, light looking one. It looks like clay basically. It says it's got 10 facials in here. I would say I've used this probably near on 100 times. So I don't tend to use that much of it, but it does work really, really well, and I do use this once a week. 
And I also have another similar one. This is the Quick Fix Vitamin C Miracle Mask. And this is an overnight one. So I used this last night. I put it on. What I did is I washed my face with this. I then put this on straight after and I just went to sleep and woke up in the morning and my skin felt really, really soft, but you do have to wash your face in the morning. I also have another face mask. This is from The Ordinary and this is the AHA BHA peeling solution. It does sting quite a lot, so that's not great, um, but I'm not entirely sure if it actually does anything, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It probably does do quite a lot kind of deep down in your skin which is probably why it stings quite a lot but again I use this once a week and then finally as an added bonus I have the six deep cleansing charcoal nose pore strips I got these from Poundland they're literally just strips that you put on your nose and it gets rid of any kind of dirt or blackheads or anything that's on your nose I love using these they're quite fun I would recommend giving these ones a try from Poundland they are really really good and I just use them in the bath. And again, I use one of these once a week. So give them a good go. So that is everything for my skincare routine, including feet, hands, body, and face. I know this video is quite long, but hopefully I was fairly descriptive with it. These are the products I've used, obviously eating healthily, drinking lots of water helps as well, but this is kind of a video focused on a load of products. So again, if you wanna go and check out the foot spa that I mentioned, then please do go and check out the link down below and you can go and purchase it if you would like to, if you like to kind of look after your, you know, your feet and dry areas of your hands, things like that. It's super relaxing, it's like a massage. So go and check that out. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.